Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today we're, we're gonna be taking a look at some new Orbit Gear items, namely their classic but updated R101 backpack, and also a new design from them, which is their S400, which is kind of a new take on a kind of messenger bag, sling bag. And for years now, I've been a big supporter of Orbit Gear. Ever since like 2018, I have bought several items from them and I still use them all the time. Like if you follow me on Instagram or have been a subscriber of mine, you have definitely seen me use these bags before. And I really appreciate how they're a smaller company that produces in-house and with, with like each release, they seem to like improve upon all their gear, which is really cool and I can really appreciate that. Uh, so when they did offer to send me some items to do a video on, I was like, yes, of course. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the brand. But anyways, these have a lot of features in them, so I think it's best just to get right into all the details. So. so starting with the R101, this backpack is designed pretty much for like versatility. Uh, you're just looking at the size of it and also all the features in it, it kind of really lends itself to that uh, because you could use this for some like heavy duty, like hiking and some light backpacking all the way to just kind of daily casual urban wear. And that whole range of this backpack can accommodate those uses. Uh, but initial impressions of the bag, the build quality really stands out to me. It's a little bit heavy, but I would rather have a backpack be a little bit heavier, but made higher quality uh, than something that's lighter where quality may suffer if that makes sense. But I'm also really liking the sailcloth fabric, which is that fabric with that grid pattern in it. I've been using this for about a week now and it's very easy to organize your things in and pretty much everything can be customized or adjusted. And with the mole straps, if you want extra storage or any modifications, you can add a mod onto it. But even just as is, there is plenty of storage capacity. Overall aesthetics of this bag, it definitely looks a little bit military, especially with those mole straps. Um, and all the buckles and straps, but it is a very functional piece of gear, so that does make sense. It definitely looks at home with a technical wardrobe, you know, so if you like tech wear, this will be very easy to style. But since it's just a backpack and a very practical piece of gear, it can really fit with pretty much any wardrobe in my opinion. Much easier to wear this than it is the sling bag in terms of just styling and aesthetics and outfits. The bulk of the materials used in this is that X-Pack sailcloth fabric like mentioned before, and it is waterproof and abrasion and tear resistant. So really a really good selection of choice of fabric for a functional piece of gear like this. On the bottom, there is a big section of leather on the bottom too, just for some added durability. And then that same leather is on this padded handle here, which is a very nice little feature. So there are a couple of different ways to get into the main compartment of this backpack. So um, there are two Fidlock magnetic buckles, very easy to undo just with the pull of that tab. Um, and then some Velcro, and then you just come pop this up. And then the top of the bag, there's Velcro on each side that pinch together just to hold it. Just undo that, and then you can go ahead and reach into the bag. And it's, the storage capacity in this is quite huge. And then looking into the main compartment, there are two internal pockets which have this kind of see-through fabric, which is really nice because you can kind of see what you have in those pockets without like having to undo it and kind of dig through it all. And then also there is not only a laptop sleeve, which can fit easily like a 15 inch laptop, but also a tablet sleeve as well. Now, if you want to close the main compartment up, but you don't want to use the flaps and like fidlock buckles, you, it's also possible to use this as a roll top. So all it should do is you take this one flap right here and you unvelcro that. And you just go ahead and roll this guy up. And then once it's all like that, then the Velcro from that flap that you peeled up can go up to the top there and boom. Now it's a roll top. So it's really up to you on how you want to close the main compartment. Now let's say you want to keep it like this and you want to still access the back door without going through the front. Well, you do have a clamshell back panel to open it. So just undo these two buckles on the back and then you can undo this and then access the main compartment. And it's very easy to kind of stack and organize things this way because 
instead of reaching in from the top, you can kind of reach in from the side and organize things a little bit better. And looking at this back panel here, there is some structure to it, uh, just to help give some support if you're carrying a very heavy load. But go ahead and zip that right back up again. And then also, um, you have these adjustable straps here from the shoulder straps to the top of the roll top. And you could always like stick like a little roll or something underneath there, uh, like a package or something. Um, but you go, just go ahead and kind of tighten those guys down. A very minor feature, but I really like it, is this small pocket on the back of the backpack on the right side. So if you have the backpack on, you can just kind of undo it just to the right there, keep it on, and then just undo that zipper. And this is kind of a nice little hidden pocket in here. It would be nice to keep something like wallet or keys in there because it's easy access without having to like take the backpack completely off. Now, if you are into hiking or backpacking at all, uh, this is gonna be a very nice feature for you. On the bottom of the backpack here, they do have this open slot here with some Velcro in it. And with this backpack does come this waist strap here. Um, so all that you do is you undo that Velcro and then you slide this um, waist strap through and then you just adjust it to yourself and then just go ahead and clamp it around your waist. And when you're carrying a very heavy load, taking some of the weight off of your shoulders and putting it onto your pelvis, it's very relieving. And especially if you're going for a very long hike or anything, it can really save you some soreness. And once you have this on, it's very easy to shift the weight more from your shoulders to your hips or from your hips to your shoulders just by loosening or tightening your shoulder straps. But for most kind of daily urban environments, you won't really need that waist strap, but it's a very nice feature to have. Uh, just really adds to the versatility of this backpack. There is a luggage sleeve as well, which is a really nice touch. So right underneath that sleeve where you slid the waist strap through, um, you can go ahead and slide the handle of your luggage through and so your backpack can stay on top of your luggage and doesn't fall over or anything. So once, you know, world travel kind of opens up again, that'll be a very nice, useful item. Moving on to the front again, there is a waterproof zipper, which accesses a very deep pocket that goes all the way down to the very bottom of the bag. I have my lens cleaner in here. And then once you're in there, there's also an additional internal pocket too. Um, but go ahead and zip that right back up. And then uh, at the bottom of the bag, there is this quick release uh, cargo pocket here. So all that you do is you pull this tab here. Um, and then there's a decent amount of storage space in there. I was like, to, like carry a book in there, uh, fits you very nicely. And then those straps, again, like pretty much every other strap on this bag is adjustable. And another small nice feature is there's a reflective 3M strip at the bottom just to help you see at night if you use this for cycling or just walking through an urban environment in low light. Also, there are two water bottle holders on each side and you can adjust the tightness of it as well with this strap here. And then the shoulder straps are extremely well padded and there is this magnetic chest strap as well. A couple of D-rings to hook some keys onto. Um, another nice feature is, uh, especially if you have the main compartment in like kind of flap uh, configuration uh, with the fitlock, so you can loosen these straps here, and then you can fit like a rolled up hammock or a mattress or something in those straps there, uh, which is a very nice feature, but uh, just for daily use, you can ball up the excess fabric there and just store there so it's not dangling all over. But yeah, uh, a lot of features in this backpack. Uh, overall styling with this backpack, uh, extremely easy. It is a backpack at the end of the day. Just for a sizing reference, uh, I am six foot two like kind of a slim build and this is what the backpack looks like on my body. So it's a pretty big backpack, but it's not too big where you can't wear it like every day just around the city. Uh, yeah, I, I, usually in my videos I do like a styling section, but like this is just like so easy to, to wear. It's, it's a backpack. It's a very functional backpack. Pretty much any outfit and you're good. So taking a look at the S400 here, this is kind of like a miniature version of the R101. It honestly kind of looks like a miniature version of the backpack itself, but it has kind of the same leather on the bottom here for extra durability, 3M reflective strip there, the same Fidlock buckles with excess straps so you can undo this and then store like a package or something underneath those Fidlock buckles. And then there is the flap closure as well. So to get to that, just undo the Fidlocks, 
And then just like with the backpack, there are uh, the pinched uh, seams there with Velcro. Just undo that and then on the inside, actually looks extremely similar to the backpack, just a mini version of it. There's a laptop sleeve which can fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro and an 11 inch tablet sleeve as well. Um, and then they have that same kind of translucent internal pocket as well, which again is really nice just to see your things in there. But to close that up, you know, pinch sides and then just flap that down. As you can see on the front, I do have a mod on there just for some extra storage. But right underneath this, but still on top of the external pack, there is an additional pocket that you can access from either side here. Um, just undo this here, and then on the other side, you can just kind of reach all the way through, and it's a nice extra pocket. Going to the back here, um, you have that same really nice uh, leather padded handle. Uh, and you do have two pockets back here. They look like they would access the same pocket, but actually they're separated by some fabric. So right now it looks like my hands are touching each other, but they're actually on top of each other with some fabric in between them. And the back of this messenger bag, or sling bag I should say, uh, it's very well padded. Now this sling system is actually new to me. I haven't used this one before. This is their Axis ADV sling, I believe. And what's neat about this is the way you adjust it and everything, it's kind of more down here at your hip instead of up here at your chest, like with my other Orbit gear straps. So it's nice that they're getting a little change up here. Uh, it works really well. It's very ergonomic to how it's kind of split here with this anchor and it splits each of the nylon straps. Uh, makes it very ergonomic. Uh, so just to tighten it, undo this and then pull this guy up. And then it just makes it a little bit tighter to your chest and your back. But if you want to loosen it at all, it's very easy to just pull this D-ring up here and it gives yourself some slack. Now, like with most Orbit Gear slings, there is a uh, stabilizer strap as well. Right now, I have it kind of tied up in the elastic band here just because for most uses, just kind of casually around the city and everything, it's a little bit overkill to have that in just the normal strap is enough. But if you are very active, like you're a cyclist or you're doing some really active activity and you don't want your sling bag slinging all over, uh, just go ahead and tighten the bag up to your back as close as possible and then take that stabilizer strap and attach it to the front and just makes it a little bit more stable so it doesn't sling everywhere. Eh, sling, sling bag. But what's really cool is, so let's say you have this on and you want to access the main compartment, but you don't want to have to undo the, you know, fid locks and take it off and everything. So it's really easy You can just sling it to the front and then undo this waterproof zipper here. And then you can access the main compartment in there. And it is on both sides too. So if you have it configured for left hand or right hand, you can still do that. Now, my one complaint with this bag is that even though I have a 13 inch MacBook Pro and there's a 13 inch MacBook sleeve, I cannot get it into the laptop sleeve because the waterproof zipper on the outside here is just a little bit too small to put in. Now I can put my laptop in the main compartment through the waterproof zipper on the side, but I just can't put it in the laptop sleeve. Just to demonstrate, I have my laptop in there right now, and I can go ahead and pull that out, but if I wanna put it in the laptop sleeve here, it just, like the zipper, it's not long enough to put my laptop in it. And I've tried it with a MacBook Air as well, um, but it still doesn't seem to work with that. So I just think there's a little bit of a production error perhaps with mine. Um, it's not a huge deal because I can still put my laptop in there, but their product images on their website, they depict a MacBook being able to go in and out uh, into the laptop sleeve. Looks like no issue. So it could have just been mine that maybe they made it just a little bit shorter overall. But again, really not a huge deal to me. Honestly, that's like my only issue with either of these bags. Now, when it comes to wearing and styling the S400, it, I think it definitely works better with some more like techie outfits. 
um, but again it's a very functional piece of gear so it can kind of work with almost anything I think it takes a little bit more styling to style like a sling bag than it is a backpack but again just my opinion now they did send some mods over as well and as you already saw on here this is their flat mod there and it's just some snap buttons there and it's made from that same really nice sailcloth material and just adds some extra storage capacity to it so that's very nice i think it works really well on the s400 as well and i was going to put on the backpack but there's so much carrying capacity on that backpack anyways i'm like that'd be overkill you know so they sent over that mod which is very nice of them um and again just works really well with this s400 but they also sent over a uh smaller uh mod here and what's kind of cool about this one is they it can work with their belt too so i'm wearing their belt right now let's say you wanted to attach that mod onto there you can attach that right on there and you can have kind of like an extra little pocket there uh, it's a very nice little thing uh, it's again made from that same sailcloth fabric but just talking about their belt here uh, it has a fidlock buckle has this kind of extra strap uh, i think just for like aesthetic purposes uh, but you can easily just remove that as well so most days i've been wearing this i just don't keep that on a little bit of a uh olive nylon right there a d-ring you can attach your keys onto and then just some uh pretty long um nylon there but what's nice is they had a kind of angled detail there with some leather sewn onto it so it doesn't fray at all so that's very nice uh, nice little wearable kind of everyday belt uh, it's very easy just to undo with one hand and lastly they did send over a water bottle holder mod and it works really well on my m100 i was going to put it on my um backpack but it already has two water bottle holders and then on the S400, it's kind of at an angle, uh, which might be kind of weird. So I put it on my M100 and it works out really well. Um, and you can, it has a fit lock, you can tighten it down with and a strap. So, um, you know, you have a hydro flask or just like a plastic water bottle, it works well with both. Again, made with that same uh, sailcloth fabric. Which is so, overall thoughts um, I think, especially with the R101, I have the zero complaints with this. There's really nothing I would change to this. If you're looking for a very versatile, very high quality, and durable backpack that's gonna last, I would definitely check this out. I know Orbit Gear, they are a small company, so their releases aren't that big, so they do sell out quite often but just go ahead and like follow them on Instagram or something and just kind of keep on tabs on when they release stuff uh, because something like this which is their kind of classic backpack they're going to re-release with like new updates and little tiny tweaks here and there but again if you do some light hiking or light backpacking but you also want like a nice kind of urban backpack uh, this is a very good option, very adaptable to whatever environments, you know, especially with the waist strap and the different ways you can secure the top down and everything. And then with the S400, my, again, my only complaint is that that waterproof zipper is just not quite long enough to slide my 13 inch MacBook into the laptop sleeve. Uh, but luckily I can still put it in the bag which you know it's not a huge deal this could have just been an individual air with mine but yeah again extremely high quality just like with the backpack and everything just kind of in a sling bag form so definitely both look really good especially if you're into kind of tech wear um they're very good like high quality like budget options i'm mean, just gonna put in quotation marks because when it comes to like backpacks and sling bags generally you want to have like a high quality one which it is going to run you at least like 150 to you know 300 dollars for like a good backpack or sling bag so i believe the r101 i think it's like just shy of like 300 which i know is a lot but it is a very high quality bag that's very versatile and then the s400 is about 150 dollars but for a kind of daily bag you know I think it's very nice. Anyways guys, uh, that was probably a very long video, so uh, just wanted to give a big thanks to Orbit Gear for sending that stuff over. Um, and then thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in one pretty soon, so.